Hello, hello everybody. It's Crafting with Christy and today I am doing a whip and chat. I actually have some tag questions that I'm going to be answering. Let me just get my first color out and um, we'll get right into it. Alrighty. All right. Sorry about that. I had to pause. Um, before I start this, um, these tag questions they are from uh, Mrs. Coffee. Um, she put out some tag questions and wanted a bunch of creators to do it so I decided to accept I hope y'all can see what I'm doing I'm not going to show you what I'm working on just yet because that is one of the questions um, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be so it may be short may be long I'm not sure but, um, craft along with me, listen to the tag questions and my answers as I answer these questions. And, great. Hold, please. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, just... Listen and craft along with me as I answer these questions. I did write them down, so um, I will have um, the um, I will share the um, the questions if you would like to uh, do them as well. She is making a playlist. For whoever does this. <clears throat> and I may clear my throat or sniffle because I have allergies. And the weather likes to be bipolar. So, let me stop chit-chatting and let's get into these questions. Number one, what is your current whip? Give us all the details and what you like about it. Okay. I am working on Monster Family by Treasure Studios Art. Um, I am a affiliate with them. I have all my deets down below. I'm really enjoying this canvas. <clears throat> um, I know some people were having issues. I am not. I single place all my treasure studios art I know some of y'all are like what you single place that whole canvas yes so far I have single placed every single one of these drills on this canvas I only do this with treasure studios art canvases because if I multi place and I mess up I have to bring up all them drills and replace them again Um, I'm really enjoying the the coloring or like the the colors in this canvas. I love how they have the the special rhinestones in them because if you got the round, um, it came with four extra um, uh, rhinestones you can replace with, well, you can replace the regular drills with the rhinestones, and that's what I've been doing. Um, I was working on this for the Monster Mash, which it is currently over because I think that was 
only during October, and obviously, you know, it's November. Um, it is actually, I think, November 16th, 15th or 16th, whichever one. Um, <clears throat> I'm too lazy to check my phone because I'm recording. Anyways, um, I'm not having any issues with this. I'm really enjoying this canvas. I'm loving how it's turning out. Um, like I said, I am an affiliate with TSA, Treasure Studios Art. If you would like to purchase anything under my link, um, my link and code, Christy15, is down below. I do make a small commission. Uh, it, when you do order under my link, and you can save 15% when you use Christy15 on your order $40 or more. So, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that kind of in there. Number two. What is your workspace like? Include a pic if possible. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear. Y'all... I am kind of ashamed to show this picture, but here's the picture of my craft space. It is a disaster. Um, I have, like, I'm just showing y'all a picture of my desk. Um, yeah. <laughs> I took the picture before I started recording. Yeah. I'm a mess. And, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just, I'm a hot mess. It's okay. I do what I got. And, you know, I try and make room. I clean my desk every once in a while. <laughs> when I get tired of moving stuff to the back of the, <laughs> back of the desk. So, <laughs> Yep, there is my workspace. Uh, let's see, number three. What is your favorite diamond painting pen and where is it from? Okay, so obviously this is a diamond art club. I got it from the diamond art club website, but that is not my favorite diamond painting pen. I actually have two, but I don't work with them. I mean, I should work with this one, but I have not in a long time. But this used to be my favorite diamond painting pen. It is a no, no roll pen from, I will, or er, I will, Put the name up on the screen. I cannot remember. I know they're on Etsy. But here is another one that I like. I think this was my actual very first pen I bought from them. But when I saw this. I call it my Elsa pen. Um, or my Cinderella pen. But I honestly. Um, I. The only thing that I. I. I'll, I'll probably have to get a new one, but I'm, if you, here, let's see. Okay. Come on, focus. If you can kind of see, I accidentally, oh my gosh, it's not even going to focus. Um, you can kind of tell that it was kind of more drilled into, and that is not the seller's fault. I actually, I use this so much that, like, I think I, like, went like that or something, and the four-placer broke off at the tip, and Hubby tried to get it out, and, yeah, it was just a disaster, so I may, what I may do, because I just have, like, a bunch of my pins over that way, I may start using this pin. Um, again, 
but since for right now I'm still gonna use this pen um, but yep those are my two favorite pens uh, yeah on top of like I can't think on top of what the the name of the company I know it's on Etsy I'll link it down below um, <clears throat> they're one of my favorite diamond painting stores to buy diamond painting pins from uh, let's see number four favorite diamond painting tray and where is it from um, honestly I can't find it right now out of this mess um, I really like the Muni made trays <clears throat> I am right now I am actually using a Bella Art Day Nicole tray because I cannot find where is it I know it's it's somewhere you know over in the mess of on my desk but it's like a uh it's a muni made tray and I literally I haven't used it in a minute so I might want to find it and start using it because I kind of miss using it <laughs> um you can you can find uh, Muni made trays on Etsy. I will also link her Etsy shop down below. <clears throat> Alright, number five. What do you prefer? Round or square and why? Um, that's really hard for me to answer because I like both round and square. Um, I've been gung-ho on rounds for a little while, but I'm starting to get a little burnt out on rounds, so, um, I'll probably start a square once I'm either done with this one or something, I don't know. Um... <clears throat> Cause I haven't I haven't done a square in a hot minute. It feels like I feel like I keep going to rounds. Um, but I do like both round and square. Um, if I had to choose rounds because they go a lot quicker. But then squares, the it shows a lot more detail in, for the squares. So, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. Um, six. Favorite wax or putty? I do like um, Not Your Mama's Mud. Which I usually use in my um, multi-placer. I almost forgot what it was called. My multi-placer. Um, <clears throat> but the the one thing I've been using, um, and I really like it. It is here. Let me. I feel like my lighting sucks. It is the Gorilla. Uh, mounting putty. Um, I got this at Walmart. And I've literally, if you can see, I have, well, you know what? I haven't used very much. <clears throat> so, it does go a long way. And every once in a while, like say if I uh, diamond paint for a while... Um, the, the putty does, uh, get dirty, because, I mean, you're constantly, so I'll just take my tweezers, 
and I'll flip it around and it'll be sticky again basically so um, those are um, I used to use um, blue wax I, I really like blue wax um, I don't know why I stopped you I think it's because I lost my blue wax and I don't know what what happened to it I lost it and then found it and then lost it again <laughs> so yeah um, and then I did use patty wax for a while but then I stopped using it uh, <clears throat> But yeah, I usually use the the Gorilla Mounting Putty and Not Your Mama's Mud. Um, top five places to shop on Etsy for diamond painting supplies. Um, the pins. I'll. I, the no roll pens, uh, I can't remember the name of it. They're on Etsy. I know you can get Muni made trays on Etsy. So that's two. You can also get um, pens from uh, Enablers Outpost. <coughs> um, I really like their pens. Um, Let's see. You can also and, and for um um what am I trying to say? Um for like metal tips, you can also go to um Enablers Outpost. They just started using er uh, started selling the metal um skinny placers. So you can get those um you can get Bella Art Day Nicole trays and their accessories on Etsy. Um, and I think that's it. Um, I try not to browse Etsy or, you know, go to Etsy too often because I have so many. And if I had the money, I would probably blow it with all the stuff that I like on Etsy for diamond paintings. <coughs> Alright. What accessory company have you not tried? What's stopping you? Um, it's on Etsy. Um, it's like, um, I don't know. I can't remember. It's like something Clo or something. It, they make, she makes diamond painting trays and I've been really wanting the Hello Kitty diamond painting tray. <clears throat> I don't know why it. I haven't got one yet. I, I mean, I should. I probably will. Um, but I've been really wanting to try her trays. But I think the reason what's stopping me is because I have so many trays. I have a lot of Bella Art Day Nicole trays. I have my... Um, what are they? The um, Archer's Arch Trays. I have the Muni Made Trays. I mean, I mean, one one more tray isn't going to hurt, I guess. <laughs> um, so I might just do that and order. I don't know. Maybe. Uh... Number nine,
favorite diamond painting accessory and why? Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. The only thing I can think of um, would be the skinny multi placers. I really like them. I'd rather prefer them over the the thick diamond painting, um, what are they called, multi, uh, the thick multi-placers, I'd rather go with the skinny ones because it's a lot easier, and I'm just trying to find an H, which I'm probably done with them, <clears throat> yeah, I would say the skinny multi-placers because, um, they, they're very, they're very fun to use. Um, I really like them. Alrighty, let's see. How long have you been diamond painting? Three years? I think I started in 2018. can't remember. So, 18. Wait. Yes. Uh, I, I'm going to say three years because um, I did start my YouTube channel um, in October of 2018. I don't think, let me see, I know I didn't need that many, <laughs> um, yeah, um, because right before I started my YouTube channel, I remember buying my very first canvas in August or Jul July? I want to say, but I didn't get it till September, and I ordered me a second one, I think for my birthday, but I didn't actually start diamond painting till September. But then I started my YouTube channel in October. So, three years. <clears throat> Alright. What made you want to start diamond painting? Um, I actually have a friend. I On the top, uh, top of my head, I can't remember who it was that I seen doing diamond painting. And... It just, I was like, what is that? And, um, <clears throat> I kind of looked it up, and then, you know how when you, um, um, I guess when you search something, like, once you go back on Facebook, it, like, pops up all these ads for diamond painting, and then I started YouTubing it, and that's when I found Stitcherista. And I was hooked from there. Um, so, yeah. How long have you had your platform? I want to say I've had my desk for about almost three, three years. Almost three years because I think the first year or probably first six months I was only diamond painting on my um black dresser my small black dresser and um that's all I had to diamond paint on or I I could go down to the living room and diamond paint on the table um but yeah, 
I want to say almost three years. Um, <clears throat> do you do other crafts? What do you do when you're not diamond painting? Um, I color. Um, I color a lot. I think I color more than I diamond paint. Um, um, let's see. <clears throat> I cross stitch a little bit, not too, too much, but I do cross stitch. Um, but that's really about it. Um, <clears throat> I don't do much. I mostly diamond paint in color. And then, um, every once in a while I'll cross stitch. Alright, <clears throat> that was number 13. Number 14, what are your top five places to buy pens, wax, or trays? I thought I named those earlier. Um, Muni made, I, like, I would honestly go with Etsy stores on Etsy. Like Muni made, I really like their trays. The no roll pins from that company that I cannot name because it's not coming to my brain. Um, I know y'all are probably screaming it at me, but I can't hear you. I cannot. Um, Bella Art Day Nicole on Etsy. Um, Enablers Outpost, there's them, uh, I think that's it. Um, where do you start diamond painting, top or bottom, and why? I was thinking about this when, um, I was writing down the question. I always start at the bottom. I don't know why. I just do. It's, I guess, natural habit of just starting at the bottom and going just... Well, I normally start at the bottom, but I start, like, in a corner, and then I go, like, from that corner that way, and then once I've finished that way, all the way to the other side... I start going up. That's why you see most of this. <sighs> Almost completed. And then, so, all once I'm done with this side, I can just shoot across. And finish it that way. I don't know why that's... That's how I always do it. I don't know why. I guess natural habit and here comes the noisy train so I don't know if I'm gonna have to pause or what because it likes to be a little extra all right y'all I am back um, I had to pause because I didn't know if the train was gonna be extra and honk and plus, I needed to take me a drink. Because <clears throat> all this talking I'm doing. Alrighty, let's continue. Alright, number 16. Name three people, including creators, you would like to meet. Um, one of them is Mrs. Coffee. Um, another one... Let's see. Hmm. I would love to meet Rachel Ray in person. Um, and then I think Ruby Q Crafts would be the third one because she's hilarious. 
I definitely would choose them three. Alright. <clears throat> Number 17. What type of diamond paintings do you like? Example, animals, landscape, people. Um, I really like any diamond painting. Okay, not any diamond painting. I think the ones that I don't normally excuse me um go for are landscapes I've only in my three years of diamond painting I've only diamond painted one landscape and that was the dreamers dreamer designs when um they had the saturated canvas which always it gave me a headache working on it Maybe I should do another landscape because I have a couple. I just haven't done them. Hold on. I'm trying to look for a certain. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, so I, I really. I don't mind doing any canvas. Like I said. I don't normally go for landscapes. Um, like, I only have one Chuck Pinson and one Dominic Davison. I think that's his name. But, uh, I think, and a couple older ones like the, um, from Diamond Art Club, um, like, the autumn scene or whatever it is that are it's a small I think it's a square um, but like I said I've only done the dreamer designs one that was the landscape and that was a nightmare um, but I'm I'm willing to you know try another landscape who knows I might like it better this go round. Um, so I may I may do that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Number eighteen. What is the biggest diamond painting you completed? How long did it take you? Um, the fairy by Mandy Manzano is my biggest diamond painting I've ever done. Uh, it is I think 42 by 125 or something like that and it only took me maybe two months because it was around <clears throat> yeah that's my biggest one I've ever done um, I don't think I've done anything bigger no I think that's the only big one I've done. Okay. Number 19. What would be your dream kit? What kind of glue? Acrylic or resin drill? Round, square, and what size? To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> um, I know I would like uh, poured glue. Um, I didn't know there was acrylic or resin drill. I don't, I don't really know the difference between resin and acrylic. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know, honestly. I don't think I have a dream kit, to be honest. But if I did, it'd be poured glue um I don't know what kind of drills um uh, probably a round so it goes by quicker and then what size I'd probably say 50 by 50 I don't know <clears throat> I don't know what it would be of Yeah, 
<laughs> do you prefer confetti or color blocking? I love color blocking. Um, confetti, like if I work on a canvas with confetti, I normally, sorry, there was a hair on my canvas. Um, I tend to get bored with it, changing colors a lot. Because, like, say, I was doing a confetti area, and say, I just, like, the one thing that drives me nuts is I will search for a color. Like, I will do all that one color, and then think that I got all of it, and then I go to switch to another color, and bam, this, this symbol had, like, five more babies, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you for real? I was just looking for you. I looked in that spot. What the hell? Why are you having babies when I put the, the drills away? But yeah, I like color blocking. And then the bonus uh, question, name your top five diamond painting companies. Okay. Um, diamond Art Club, Trish Studios Art, Craftably, um, Crafties, um, And, uh, what is the one? <sighs> I need, dang it. I can't think of it. Um, as I throw my drill pin. Um, Star Ore. Um, those are my five companies that I would definitely recommend, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Those are all the diamond painting question tag. I hope y'all enjoyed my answers. <clears throat> but, yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up a video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I do also have my email in the description box if you would like to email me. But, other than that, I will see you on my next video. Bye! Keep on crafting, y'all!